Corey's my boyfriend, and that is so weird. I haven't had a boyfriend in so long. Um, uh, yeah, Corey and I made it official a little while ago and have just been enjoying like being in a relationship. When Craig and Corey did Watch What Happens Live for Winter House, Corey and I were dating because it was after the summer, but I hadn't even been announced as cast yet on Summer House. So I'm sitting in the audience, all quiet, like no one knows who I am. And afterwards, Craig and Corey and I went back to Paige's apartment and we were there till like 3 a.m. hanging out. Like, we are just all so easy, like we get along so well. It's nice that like the boys have their own relationship and then Paige and I have our own relationship, like separately from our relationships with them. Um, and it's just really fun for the four of us to be around each other. Like we're all, we are all kind of obsessed with each other. So it's really, it's a good time. I mean, I'm 25 years old. Like I'm kind of still working on my empire. Um, and it, uh, New York has always been my home and I think it always will be. Um, Corey is running his businesses. He, he owns gyms and he's currently opening one in Charlotte, which is amazing. So he's moving there right now to kind of see that through. Um, but one of the beautiful things about working for yourself, I always say, is like, I can go anywhere I want all the time. Um, and he's always in New York for work and for this and for whatever else. Um, so it's very easy for us to visit each other, especially when he's in Charlotte. It's like a two hour, like not even two hours in the air. Um, and you know, we have managed to see each other like every three weeks, like if not more for the last, whatever it's been, eight months. Um, and I don't think that we see that changing anytime soon. Like we love visiting each other and wish we could spend all of our time together. Um, but it's really important to me that he builds his business. And I think it's really important to him that I like build my life. And he always says like, I want to live in New York so badly. We're not quite there yet, but he's like, it's not a question of whether I'm moving to New York, it's when. So it's a nice little light at the end of the tunnel. And until then, I think I'm gonna see some pretty cool cities while Core 24 opens across the country, so. I knew going into this relationship with Corey, like it's an occupational hazard. If we break up, we're gonna be the exes that people are talking about, right? So like, you just kind of have to be prepared for that. And um, I think if anything, it just makes me more excited for people to see our relationship because you know, we all kiss a lot of frogs. We all date people who don't end up being our people. And um, I think it'll be really fun to just like watch our love story play out a little bit. You know, how many people get to say like the first time we met, our first kiss, like all of that stuff, even defining the relationship, like all of that stuff winds up immortalized and you get to watch it whenever you want. And um, it's very like, oh, I, I don't want to get emotional. It's very like special to like find someone who means so much to you and then get to relive that experience all the time. Um, so if anything, like watching all of that was just kind of like, you have to pay your dues, right? Like we signed up for this and we're gonna get this and it's gonna be beautiful and fun and crazy and silly and sexy to like watch us do our thing on TV. Um, but you know, you gotta get through some stuff before you do that. And the one thing I will say about Corey is like he has never once made me insecure or like he has never been the reason I've ever questioned our relationship. Like if I'm ever feeling like away, he's the first person to be like, hey, it's you and me, like we're fine. Um, and it kind of brings you back down to earth and it's, it's really refreshing.